Days ago in the Washington Post, in Washington, military planners are realizing that China has surpassed the United States in hypersonic military technology. Does anyone seated at the table disagree with that assessment? Uh, Congressman, I think uh, in terms of assessments, we should probably take that to a classified discussion. Well, it's been sort of unclassified without our consent. We had this leak that showed that China could launch one of these hypersonic glide capabilities, 2,100 kilometers, that it could get there in 12 minutes. And I actually don't think it's that, it can't be too classified because it was a year ago, Admiral, that you were before the Senate Armed Services Committee, and you seem to be giving the warning at that time that we saw manifest in this leak. You said, quote, the hypersonic glide vehicle threat poses a serious threat to the U.S. and allied forces in the region, and we require a near-term initial defense capability to meet this challenge. I read in between the lines of that to say you require the capability in the near term because you, don't, you didn't have the capability when you gave this testimony before the Senate Armed Services Committee, not in a classified setting, but in open hearing. So I guess my question to you, because I sense you are the truth teller on a lot of these things, have you acquired the capability since this testimony? The department is working on the uh, ability to do hypersonic defense, Congressman. Uh, again, I stand by what I said. I am concerned about it, and we and do need to And it's still true defend. today. Would you, that statement that you made to the Senate Armed Services Committee in 2021, you wouldn't revise that or change that. That is true as we sit here today. It is. And so what I observe about our posture in Indopaycom is that for the last 30 years, the United States has been building aircraft carriers that will never get into the fight. And we've spent years building littoral combat ships, Mr. Smith, that will never get into the fight. And while you have been giving us the accurate information, you gave it to us now, you gave it to the Senate a year ago, the truth is we have not made a sufficient investment in hypersonic defense in order to ensure that we have this credible deterrent threat. Isn't that right, Admiral? Sir, if you look at uh, the report as it applies to our Guam defense system, uh, we have identified the need for that capability. Right. And so I guess, tell me, how do our littoral combat ships ever get into the fight in a, in a China-Taiwan scenario? Well, again, I think that'd be better in a classified setting. I do think it's not going to happen. I think it's whether it's classified or not classified. Can we hit a moving target with our hypersonic offense? Again, sir, I think we ought to take those capabilities discussion Well, okay, so if I setting. represent to you that China can hit a moving target and we can't hit a moving target... Do you have any basis in this setting that you can share with me to rebut that assertion? Uh, I disagree that we can't hit a moving target. Oh, we, you think we, with our hypersonic capability? I didn't say with a hypersonic capability. Okay, that, but that's what I'm talking about because, uh, of course, we can hit moving targets, but with a hypersonic capability, it changes the deterrence analysis because the time window shortens considerably. As this leak of classified information tells us, kind of as you told us a year ago. And so I, I, I know that there'll be uh, great bloodlust to go after the leaker of this information. It is never okay to leak classified information, especially when it could potentially put people at risk. But like, what I wonder is, who's going to be punished more? The knucklehead who leaked this information or the generals and admirals and so-called experts who have sat before this committee and the Senate for decades saying that, these capabilities that we were funding with gajillions of dollars were going to sufficiently deter China. And what you said last year, what you've confirmed now, is that we need a capability in the near term that we do not have. What this leak shows is that China has it, and we don't. And yet we continue to build ships that will never get in the fight. We continue to, to support these endeavors that... Don't enhance deterrence, but if the right senator or congressman or lobbyist is for them, we do them. And I think that's, uh, while it is never okay to leak classified information, I think that's what animates the concern among some of our even youngest and most inexperienced service members that we are not really positioning to win this fight. And we got too many grifters who roll in and out of the Pentagon, two defense contractors, and some of them even become Secretary of Defense thereafter. And I think it is disgraceful and it's not worthy 
of a true Pacific power like the United States.